Hello, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing really well. I do apologize for not uploading any videos for quite a long while. I have been really, really busy for the past few weeks. Um, maybe because it's, you know, it's close to Christmas. Well, technically it's going to be Christmas tomorrow, but but during those past few weeks, it was busy because people were shopping for um, Christmas gifts and everything. My schedule was packed, and when I do get day off, I tend to feel really tired. I just want to relax, just recharge myself, and I don't really want to do videos when i in that state. I guess in a way, it's a lazy moment for me, but... Every one of us, I'm still human. I need my rest. But now I am back. Um, so first of all, um, because of the time zone, I wish to say Merry Christmas to everyone that is celebrating right now, which is Christmas Day. At the moment, it is still roughly 10.45 p.m., not yet Christmas Day. But it's Christmas Eve, so I wish to express my greetings, wish you all a happy, jolly, and safe Christmas. Though I have to say that I wasn't really jolly or happy during the f uh, past few weeks because of work and I was being a grinch, like in a grumpy, <laughs> maybe not grumpy, but like I'm not feeling the Christmas spirit. Still not really at the moment, but... Um, not as bad as before, so there's that. Um, so what this video is going to be about, um, usually I'll be doing a rant or maybe a towel reading, but not this time. Since it's almost the end of the year, I figured why not show you guys my 2019's favorite, or rather this one's favorite as well. So there'll be a bit of a skincare routine, a bit of makeup, um, etc. So first of all, um, for the this December, I did bought a few things as a little present to myself because I live alone here in UK. So why well, not celebrate? So one of the things I bought here in UK which I find it really, um, I really need it because it's like my old, it was a jacket. Maybe because my old one, um, which was, which is a TNA brand jacket. For those who don't know, it's a American Canadian, basically North American brand. It's a really expensive brand. It's an old one, like one of those old ones where back then when TNA, have the jacket where they use the sheet wool instead of down feathers as, as they do right now so yeah I have that jacket for more than six years now it's still working pretty fine but at times the zipper is starting to add up and it's getting really old um, I feel like I need a change so it took me a long while because I've been searching around online which is the best winter jacket. My requirements when it comes to a winter jacket, it has to be waterproof. It has to be downfield. I don't expect anything to be sheep wool that is like kinda hard to get. Plus I think they're trying to save the environment or something. So, uh, there's that, and it has to be the white kind of jacket, like, it has to fit me really well, I don't feel like I'm too, don't feel big or bulky when I wear it, that kind of thing. So, at first, I thought maybe I should get a super dry jacket, but none of them really suit me. Um, there was one that I, I was at first considering, but problem is it's not waterproof so I had to like 
cross that one out. So I've been looking around and uh, majority of the jackets that I sold here in UK are really expensive so I think yeah a week ago I managed to find one I had this well a week or two ago actually but anyways I found one and it was a Hollister yeah Hollister uh, California jacket I was never really a fan of Hollister before I guess back then like when I was in Canada I just felt like it was I don't really like going into the store because of the smell it's not that it smells bad it's just that it's just kind of that strong cologne perfume because sometimes perfume gives me a headache so I try to avoid it uh, but you know it's not that bad I think they lessen the smell a bit which is good um other than that yeah so I got myself a navy downfield waterproof jacket um maybe because I need it once I get back to Canada it is the ratio of 90% down 10% premium duck feather so it's not too bad it would definitely stand up to Canadian winter so there's that uh that I brought um and I think I bought, um, it was really early, at first it's like more of a birthday present for myself, and I have talked about it, it's this wildlife palette. So, I have been using this for quite a while, I did buy the snow leopard one as well, but I don't really use it much. This one, I use quite a bit, I don't really like wear makeup, but... For special events, I do wear it. Um, so it's it's nice. It lasts quite a while. Um, even though I don't put primer on it, I should. Um, so Berry M is a drugstore palette. Um, uh, drugstore brand, makeup brand. Um, so. The price is decent at most. This one, I went for this one mainly because if you were to buy it, 20% of the profit, net profit goes to the uh, foundation called David Shepherd Wildlife Foundation. And also, this is like cruelty free, so it's vegan friendly. Which was a plus for me. But the thing is, I think uh, the only problem with this one is like there's a lot of fallout, so that has to be expected for a drugstore brand. So I'm kind of fine with it, with it, so it's not too bad. As you can tell, I have used it quite a bit. But yeah, so this is one of my favorites despite the fallout. Uh, for this month and I guess for the 2019 because I don't really use makeup often like I said um, so there's that another thing that I bought for myself I was like oh my god I love the packaging the design and everything so I was like I went for it and it was like oh god it was this Harry Potter dark arts color lipstick well, color illusion lipstick. Uh, I haven't tried it out yet, um, but because I want to swatch it in front of you guys and see your um, how you think of it. I can't say it's my favorite yet because I haven't really tried it, but I want to say it's something that I got for this month. So this one, um, this color, let me show you the packaging first. Oh, you're messing up. <laughs> okay, so you can see there's a deathly hollow symbol around it. I found it really nice. The color of it, if I'm correct, this is like a purplish color. Ooh, well, it went really smooth. 
<laughs> Quite pigmented. Why is it inspecting that? It's really smooth. So that was what I believe to be purple color. It's more pink than purple. Because in the box it says purple. Like it says shade of red, purple or orange. I'm not an orange fan. Yeah. Like I can't see myself wearing orange. But yeah, here's another one. It's only have one definitely hollow symbol, but still really nice. This one, I believe, is the red color. It's hard to say, but hard to tell, but it looks like it. It glides on really smoothly. Was not expecting this. So yeah, that is the red, I believe, or is it orange? I think it's orange. No, it's red. Like the lighting makes it look orange on the screen here. And I'm guessing this would be orange. The test, the packaging, same as the purple. A little bit, of, quite a bit, of, definitely harder symbol on it. Let's see what colors this is. Okay, maybe that is maybe the second one was orange. Cause it looks more red to me than orange. Because if you look at it, at first I thought this one was red because, like under like a normal lighting, it looks like red. But then it's like, I guess it is orange. My mistake. I do apologize. So, red, orange, and purple. Uh, they glide on my skin really nicely. I have yet to try it. So, I'm going to try it for you guys. Um, don't know which one is which now. Um, anyway, still trying on. I think this is I think this is red could be yeah I think it's red still it's a nice lipstick uh, would I recommend this to anyone? sure I mean it's it feels more like a lip balm to be, to be fair, it's like I could feel that texture of a lip balm So it could be Yeah Either way, I do recommend it Probably take it out this later, but yeah I do recommend it Um. So uh, if you are in UK, you could get it at, uh, at the Pharmacy store and called Boots. That is what it's called here in UK. So you can get it there. To be fair, like when I at first there was another item that caught my eye, which was a dark art um, eyeshadow. But I didn't get it. I really like the coloring because it was like so good. Like, Really, it feels like a die, guys. And the palette itself, the shape of it is the definitely hollow. So it's like, oh god. But I could only get one gift because it's like, one well, this is for me, and the other one is like for Christmas gift. So it's like, okay. Anyways, next up. Uh, it's my other favorites. So this time it'd be more of a skincare type favorites. It's not something you could get it, like in UK. At most, you have to go to YesStyle or go to Japan to get it. Because majority of it, um, 
I've been using my whole life. It's still my favorite to this day. So I want to show it to you guys. So these items are good for all skin type. And it really cleanses. Like I think after I cleanse it, like when I have a breakout, I cleanse it and then put on the anti-acne um, gel, you could say. It goes away a few days later. So it works really well. So the first thing I want to show you uh, is the Naive Natural Deep Cleansing by the Clays by Clazy. So this is what, what I use every single time when I have, want to remove my makeup. So I just put it on the cotton pad, fold it and slowly wipe away. It does wipe the makeup off. Maybe a few swipes but I most only one like few drops on one cotton pad is good to go. Um, so another thing I use this is something I use before I go and shower. Maybe because um this item is com more convenient um to use it before you shower. Because um it's an exfoliate sorry, it's an exfoliating item is set free is good for all skin skin type even sensitive and i've been using for quite a long time um it, you have at most to use it for two or three days uh so basically it's called the uh, natural aqua cure gel cure is the brand so it's like a pump so at most when you use this make sure to have your hands dry, not wet, has to be dry, put it into your palm and spread all over your skin, your face. So when you do, slowly your dead skin cell will slowly appear, like, like a little flakes kind of thing, and slowly appear, it will be like, and at most you have, it's best to, best to use it for two times three times a week so yeah once it's exfoliated my face is exfoliated i wash it off and i take a shower it was it's easier that way to wash it all off i know it's kind of annoying way to do so but it's also more convenient um and i've been but yeah i do recommend that one um, at most, if you buy it in Japan, it probably costs you a lot more. But if you buy it at Yes Style, it's quite cheap. Um, well, not really cheap, cheap, cheap. But more like, if you go to Japan, it costs about 55,000 yen, I think. And if you were to buy it on Yes Style, at a certain price point, you get free shipping. And it costs about roughly 30 Canadian dollar. Uh, thirty two dollars at most but in UK it's thirty pound thirty two pound so it's like not much of a price difference. Uh, moving on the um cleansing face wash I use is called the Eat So Full of Bone uh, it is number one drugstore brand a lot of people use it, it's popular. It when you after using it your skin will be brighten, brighten, smooth, makes your skin like feel like mochi, I guess you could say, young. So I use this a lot. Uh when this is a pump, so it comes out with like a foam, so it's easier for me. I'm just, I'm just lazy. So but there is the the squeeze bother version. Which I usually put onto the um, fishing net, I guess, or sponge net, and I just swap it together with warm, after warm water, and forms come out. I will never like put on my hand to squeeze out. That doesn't. It's like a. So if I'm not using this, I use the net, because foam would be less stress on your skin. So that is why. Uh, and the toner. Uh, to match this cleanse, um, I use the Isofolabom 
toner that is clear white color this one is good for all skin type as well i've been using this for many many years so i do recommend it so yeah this is all my favorites i do hope you enjoy and if you want to give it a try do so and i give let me know how it feels on your skin and i'll see you guys next time and again merry christmas Bye. And also, please subscribe and like this video if you like it.